Gemini, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> my name is Carmen. This is Divine Balance. I'm going to be doing your reading for the rest of December. This is a general reading. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Switch the roles if you have to. Okay. Make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell for when I upload. I'll be doing readings until the 17th. After that, I'm going to shut it down until January. Let's see what you guys got coming in for um, the rest of December. I keep hearing, I know it's been difficult for you guys, so prayerfully this was a good one. So what's the overall energy of Gemini? Okay. I'll do it again. If it comes out again, it's meant for you guys to have. It wasn't bad, but it came out before I could even finish asking spirit. They're like, here. <laughs> what's the overall energy for Gemini? Okay. They just... It's, it came back out. Hope. You guys are very hopeful. <laughs> that is so funny. And charity. Somebody may be, may be giving to you. Someone may be giving you a couple things, you know, Christmas and all that coming about. So that's a good thing. Nothing wrong with that. Accept the blessings. Don't block anybody else's. When you say no to somebody that's trying to bless you, you're blocking their blessings. Okay. So don't use that against them. Accept it. Say thank you. You know, do what you will. So, what's happening with Gemini for the rest of December? Messages for Gemini the rest of December. Gemini, rest of December. Gemini for the rest of December. Okay, devotion. You may be giving, you may be devoting yourself to someone, something, giving yourself over, possibly. Gemini for the rest of December, please. A lot of people are being admired, including you, Gemini. Somebody admires your strength. Definitely the first thing I'm telling. Gemini in December, the rest of December spirit. What else you got? Ooh, you guys are ascending. That's probably why you're being admired. You've been ascending in the fall, which is a very good thing. Then we got Muse. Uh, okay, hold on a second, because I'm going to have y'all watch me look at this shit. Because I don't know what Muse is. Ooh, daughter of Zeus, presider of the arts of sciences. Okay, so you guys are being creative. I know the prank brush is there, but I'm not going to assume, okay? But being creative. You've been, especially in the fall. Then we got settling here at the bottom of the deck. I don't know if you're settling issues or you're settling with somebody that you're not into, but we will see. Let's see. Gemini for the rest of December, please. Gemini for the rest of December. Gemini for the rest of December. Thank you so much, Spirit. Smelled something that wasn't good. Smelled like an old unwashed belly button or a booty hole. I don't know what that was about, Gemini, but ew. Just as quick as it came, it went. That's funky. Mm. I'm here and making an ass of themselves. <laughs> okay, messages for Gemini. For the best of this ever. I don't need to smell it. Some of you are feeling pressured right now. Gemini for the rest of December. There's a growing bond that's happening, which is interesting because I'm looking at the ascending card while I see that. Ooh, for some of you guys, you got a romance blooming with a soulmate. Nice, nice. Okay, okay. Which probably be why you devoting yourself to this person, okay? Some of you are no longer interested in somebody. Yeah. So 
Somebody smothering. Smothering. Okay. Let me, so I'm running out of space here. Okay. Yeah. Let me stop. Ooh. Okay. So this is not bad. Gemini. You guys are going to be friends first. You're going to be falling in love with this person. And then you'll be moving in together. Hopefully that doesn't happen within a three month period. Because you know people are crazy. I've seen snapped and all that shit. Okay. Ooh, hear the birds chirping. Yep, see, it will take time. It's going to take time. But you guys have some love coming in. Ooh, do you hear the birdies? Hoo wee. Hoo wee. Hoo wee. Hoo wee. Let me see. Which ones do I want to use? See the messages on here for you guys. Someone admires your, your strength. They could be admiring your devotion as well. You could be devoting yourself to somebody, like I said. So you're very hopeful about things. So you may be dating somebody and you're kind of hopeful how things will go. But, you know, stuff takes time. Messages for Gemini. Yeah, see, you're in the thinking process right now. Seven of Pentacles. So just for another, yep, coming out of this toxic energy that you've had, addictions, maybe obsessions. Gemini, two of wands. You're trying to figure out which direction you're going to go, which is also a beautiful thing. I like it. I like it. And look, three of wands. Now you're trying to make future plans. You could be waiting on your ships to come in as well. Queen of Pentacles. Could be with the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This could also be you being more nurturing and giving as well. Another comes for Gemini. Nope. And look here. We got the moon in reverse. So there could be some secrets that are coming out. Some secrets might be revealed. And there could be something about somebody feeling weak. Because they lied to you. About wanting to work together, but we'll see. So let's see what's happening here. For the Gemini's for the rest of December. So far, it looks good though. Doesn't seem like any of this stuff is really, really about you. Maybe somebody around you, but you're admired. You're ascending. You know, devoting yourself, being more creative. I wouldn't trip. Seven of Pentacles, what's going on? Seven of Pentacles. Four of Cups, maybe an opportunity that may have been missed. You kind of feel like you're surrendering, you're tired. Nine of Swords in reverse, maybe you're not coming out of it. Four of Cups, Four of Cups. Some of you may be thinking about an um, opportunity you missed with an empress. She, this could be someone who has children by you, but, um, or it could be a Libra, of course. Someone that you were definitely in love with. Queen of Cups, Devil in Reverse. Yeah. You, you, some of you could be thinking about ending something with this person. Others of you could be thinking about how you need to come out this toxic energy in order to be with this person. Interest, start. King of Pentacles in reverse in the hangman. So there's some delays because there are maybe some financial um, instability going on. Maybe this person is unloyal. Yeah, there's some delays to your wish fulfillment with this person because there's some things that need to be fixed before you can um, move forward. Why is the King of Pentacles in reverse with the hangman? Yeah, five of pentacles. You feel left out in the cold or there could be like some lack of finances going on here. Double in reverse. Why is the double in reverse? Why is the double in reverse? Three of Swords in reverse. You're coming out of heartbreak, which is a very good thing.
Where is the of this, please? Hierophant. Coming out of heartbreak in a relationship or a marriage that you were in. You could also be deciding, you know, to do the right thing. You might be in regret because of how you acted in a relationship. Five of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Um, and the fact this person no longer wants to work with you, it kind of fucks with you. Hierophant. 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 What's Hierophant? But nine of swords in reverse, you're no longer stressed, you're no longer worried, you're no longer having anxiety. Um, you may have had regrets at one point, but I think you're getting through them. Nine of swords in reverse. Nine of swords in reverse. Nine of swords in reverse. The magician. So you're manifesting something right now. What are you manifesting? Yeah, you're manifesting coming out of this crazy illusions that you got how, of how things should be come, should be happening for you. So there is some type of growth going on with you, Gemini. Like you expect things to be a certain way, but you're coming out of that. You know, your mind is starting to be reprogrammed in a good way. Magician, it's the magician card. Yep, and you're going a whole different direction. Your, your mindset is changing. You're going a whole different direction. And you're standing, you're setting boundaries. Okay, setting boundaries and you're um, five ones in reverse. You're willing to compromise. You're not trying to fight anymore. You can't fight this anymore. It's time for you to grow up. Two of wands. Two of that. Two of wands again. Um, Knight of Cups in reverse. This shitty energy that you have. You gotta get out of that. Alright, some of you are pissed about something. Moody. Sorry. I itch you. Might have cut some of those, please. Okay. Yeah, you're in your feelings because somebody decided to leave all these burdens behind. You think it's not fair. Justice in reverse and the Ten of Wands in reverse. Why? See, but you're in regret. Unfinished business here. You're in regret. You're in, you're, you're dealing with karma because of uh, because of the other direction that you went. The the way that you were going before caused somebody to release you and the burden that you caused. And you think it's unfair, but no, that's justice. Justice and ten of wands in reverse. They're not going to keep dealing with that. So the opportunity is gone. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. They don't get no more. Your, your opportunity to be happy, it went away with your attitude and how you see things. My eyes is itching, y'all. I'm sorry. Now, what's the three of wands? Future plans possibly being made here. Six of cups in reverse. You may be thinking about the past. Waiting for your happiness here to come about. Six of cups in reverse, please. Six of cups. Six of cups. The moon card. You may have some secret knowledge that you're sitting on right now. Or you might be secretly realizing that you were an you know, emotionless bastard. <laughs> no offense, chilling out, I'm saying. Ah, the moon card. Why is the moon card here still? Thank you. Why is the moon card here? Why is the moon card here still? Five of Wands in reverse, King of Wands in reverse. You're not trying to fight with this person anymore, um, but you're not making any moves either. You're juggling on well, what your next move should be. Whether or not you want to invest in this, or you just want to just let it, let it sit where it is. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You could also you could be dealing with a King of Wands who's lazy as fuck. Don't move. Don't do shit. 
uh, Queen of Pentacles. This is Queen of Pentacles. Okay. Got the Hermit and the Ten of Cups. See? Somebody might want to be giving. You might want to be giving to somebody. You're thinking about it. Going through meditation about it. You may want to be able to, you know, start giving to yourself and being happy with yourself. Ten of Cups and the Hermit. You know, your happiness comes first. How are you going to make somebody else happy if you can't make yourself happy? Then we got the Queen of Swords here. You may still be a little bit guarded. Um, but you're trying to win at all costs because you do love this person. And you got karma because of how the actions that you made, the actions that you took. Now, this could be you or someone else. Remember, take it how it resonates. Queen of Swords. Yeah, we got the star. Yeah. There was some unhealing energy around you in the relationship. You know, which uh, made the emperor feel weak. All right. So, let me see. I'm going to stop right there, you guys. And let me just see what this person has to say to you. Or what you have to say to them. Gemini and their person. Gemini and their person. Gemini and their person, please. Gemini and their person, please. We got alone time. I'm taking this time to be alone and balance my emotions. I feel like it could be you or your person who is also a runner. I'm not ready to accept what you have to offer. This could be you feeling like you're running from the, the connection. Ooh. Okay. Fatal event. I'm sorry. Sorry. Fatal event. I'm sorry for what I've done. There's not a whole lot I can say. So you may, this could be also a karma card in, in a sense because there's some type of fatal event where maybe this person left or walked away. Then we got opening up. I closed the door before, but I'm not ready to let you in. I'm now ready to let you in. So after this fatal event, this person is going to open up and speak to you. Or like I said, vice versa. These last two of them. Superficiality. Uh, it's easier to be superficial and, and be accepted by society. Grow the fuck up, okay? Excuse me, compromise. Let's find a way to compromise instead of giving up on us. So you still want this to work out or the person wants it to work out with you. Then we got love strike at the bottom of the deck. I've been swept off my feet. Random, unexpected, amazing. So they find you irresistible. Okay, Gemini, give this person some time to get their head right and ascend as they should. Um, while you grow and continue to be creative, admired, and devoted to whatever it is that you're devoting to. Congratulations to those who have your soulmate, okay, who are, who's falling in love, etc., etc. Maybe that's your gift from the universe. Merry Christmas. So, make sure um, you like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell for when I upload. I'll be doing personals until the 17th. After that, I'm shutting it down until January. Happy holidays to you guys, Gemini. I speak that you have very, very many blessings this month. Um, I speak that you also have miracles happening for yourself as well as the people around you. And I will talk to you guys again very soon. Bye.